guys welcome back to tutor and and guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can use bootstrap 5 in your react app to style your website or your application and i'll show you how you can use bootstrap 5 to style your react app like this with a navbar and some buttons and i will show you the best way to use bootstrap in your react app so let's get it started and and first of all we are going to create a new react app like we do usually with npx create react app and our project name and in my case i'm going to write the project name as bootstrap 5 react because i'm going to show you to use bootstrap in this video and i'm fast forwarding this video too much here so that you don't have to waste a lot of your time so you can see here our project has been created and now we have to navigate to our project folder of project directory with cd and our project name so that we can open vs code inside our project with code and dot command and now so that we have created our project and everything is set up now let's learn how we can use bootstrap 5 in our react app and there are three ways to use bootstrap in our react app and the first one is the bootstrap cdn which is just by including the cdn link of the bootstrap in any project and the second one is the downloading bootstrap which is when we download bootstrap files and we include it in our project and the third one is the best and most suitable for react because there is a package called react bootstrap which is especially created for react and this is a specific version created for react only of the bootstrap so that we only include the components which we need in our project and it reduce our file size and this is what we are going to learn in this video so let's open up a terminal in vs code and start our project to see that if our project is working fine or not and we start our project with npm start which is going to open a development server and show it in our browser and to use bootstrap in our react app we have to install a package called react bootstrap in our project and for this tutorial video i'm going to use this documentation from the react bootstrap official website and i'm going to give the link in description so you can check it from there even if this video gets old in future their documentation will be always updated so let's start by installing the react bootstrap which is the first command in this documentation and to install react bootstrap we have to open a new terminal in our vs code and write the command here which is to install react bootstrap so as you can see here the operation was successful and the react bootstrap is now installed in our project so let's open app.js and replace the pre-written code with our code which is by removing the header code and let's write something here for example ns1 tag so that we can see the effect in our browser and as you can see here the project is now updated and now let's test out the react bootstrap in our project by including a button element from bootstrap and use it in our project and there are two ways you can import any component of the bootstrap like by just including a specific element or by including multiple elements with a destructuring feature as you can see in the documentation too so let's see both of them and first of all we are going to import one by one each and every component and see what are the benefit of using the destructuring method so let's import the button and use it in our project so now let's write the button and save our code and let's see in our browser so as you can see there is a tiny little button showing in our app and this is because we haven't provided any props to the button and props are especially required in react bootstrap so let's see the button component in the official documentation and what are the props required in the button component and as you can see here the button component takes a prop called variant which can be primary secondary or successful danger and a child which is going to be any text 
so let's copy this code from here and test it in our application so guys now our button is working and let's copy another component from there which is success and let's paste it in our project so guys as you can see here both buttons are working now but stylings are not yet working because react bootstrap component does not include the styling so we have to do it ourselves separately so this is the code to import or include the stylings of the bootstrap in our react app so let's copy it from here and write it in our app.js and just after pasting this code in our app.js you will see the difference in styling of our component in our browser so the stylings are working now so let's give it a space here and now let's take another component from the official documentation which is going to be the navbar so let's search for the dark navbar so here this is and we are going to copy this code from here just for the dark navbar and let's paste it in our app.js above the buttons and just after pasting this code you will see an error which is going to be for the components not imported and we have to import each and every component to use it in our project so let's import navbar and nav and we have to import each and every component this way every time we want to use any component from the bootstrap so this is why the restructuring method comes in handy because as you can see here it takes too much time to just import a component and with the restructuring method we can import each and every component in just one single line of code for example if you want to import the button and never and nav in just one line so we have to write like this we have to write like button comma and make sure that you give a space before and after comma and nav bar and comma and nav or any component which you want to import from the bootstrap so as you can see here we have imported button nav bar container and nav just in one line by writing import from react bootstrap and you can see a fully working nav bar in our project and guys if you want to change the styling or content of any component of the bootstrap then you can do it like this you just have to change it in the props and the children like subscribe and tutor and if you like this video see you in next tutorial till then stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutor and